The buzzer Let's says do yes. It. All right, Dungeon AI <clears throat> is the name of Gary's Games minus Gary equals games today. All right. So how's it going to work? Who's running this show? Rich? Is it Rich? Rich. Richie Rich. What was that, Annie? That... What was what? The Rich reference. Rich. I don't know. We were, uh, we were I don't know, listening yeah. to something. Never mind. Never mind. That, yeah, it starts ringing a bell, too. <laughs> That's Rich. Don't remember. I can't. I think it was, it was uh, some, some woman talking about a man, like, listing off. Oh. Reasons why he was eligible. Oh right, he's rich. <laughs> <laughs> rich. Okay. Rich. Oh yeah. <laughs> totally <laughs> rich. <laughs> it was a character that I did. It was actually like sort of out of character. Oh, <laughs> like the right, line right. It kind of stuck out. How many times have we the character killed was. ourselves doing that? Okay. Rich. What do we got? All right, anyone who doesn't know what AI Dungeon is, basically it's uh, it's improv role-playing with, like, no stats or anything. Um, there, it's, it's, it's procedurally generated text, and then we type in stuff that we want and what we want to do, how we want to react to the situation or whatever. We type in what we want, and then the story reacts. So... I think the way that we did we did it before was we took turns, and I think we can just go from top to bottom here. Um, me, Annie, Joe, Justin, then Ray. So, and we'll just take turns putting stuff in. Excuse me. Okay, enter a prompt that describes who you are and the first couple sentences of where you start out. It's recommended that you switch to story mode to avoid unintended changes to your prompt. Example, you are a knight in the kingdom of Larian. You are hunting the evil dragon who has been terrorizing the kingdom. You enter the forest, searching for the dragon, and see? Okay, so mm. I think we should just start in reverse order for this. Ray, answer yes. the first question. Um, who are we? Who are we? As the character? Yep. Okay. Um, well, give me a second here. Oh wait, it, it's our, who who put in a renowned audiobook narrator? Yeah, just insert a name. Ray, just give us a name. Oh, I see. It's Richard. Rich did it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Ray, what's your renowned audiobook narrator name? It's. Power. I'm not typing. How do you get this no, to type? No, you don't type. You don't type. You just tell us. Oh, oh okay. Uh, We've got so people the narrator... to type for you. Yeah, dude. It's all good. Okay. Uh, you are... Uh... Sir speaks a lot. Sir speaks mm. a lot. Mm. Oh, yes. So he's, he's great. Yeah. The he's fabled Sir speaks really, a lot. Really, really good. Cool. We're good. We're, we're ready to go. Let's throw that fucking paper airplane. All right. You are Sir Speaks a Lot, a renowned audiobook narrator. You enter your booth and get ready to record for the day. The booth is rather small, and the only way to record is on a small little microphone that hangs above you. Okay. So, I'm first. Um, what happens next? I open my book for the day. Got an easy one. I got pitched. I got an underhanded pitch on that one. Mm-hmm. A floater. You open your book for the day. You open your book for the day and begin to turn page after page. A man rushes into the booth next to you and starts babbling away. Annie. <laughs> I try to create a decoy with uh, this sock puppet on my hand. Brilliant move. I would never have thought of it. Annie's a quick thinker. You guys didn't know. 
critical thing. Gotten myself out a lot of tight spots uh, with that move. There with we the sock go. Sock puppet. Yeah, yeah, don't try. Do there we go. You create a decoy. All right, no, we'll just let it process. Now it's time to create the illusion that you're listening to the man. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. Joe, how do you create the illusion that you're listening, that we're listening to the man? I say, yup. Mm-hmm. You know, you are so right. <laughs> Classic. You say, yep, uh uh-huh, you're so right. You pretend to be engaged in what the man is saying, and soon a woman rushes into your booth and says, Oh my goodness, what is that? What's happening? Get it away from me! Justin. I say, thank goodness you're here, Annie. (laughs) Just in time for the scene. I like it. A little callback to earlier. Real clever. <laughs> I was late to rehearsal, guys. Okay. Not as not as late as me, though. That's true. Annie says something about needing to change the battery in the monitor, <laughs> and you pause the recording. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, so Annie says something about needing to change the battery in the monitor, and you pause the recording to get your shock paddles from the bedroom. Oh, we. I get my shock paddles from the bedroom. From the bedroom. Everybody's got a pair of those. <laughs> hanging out in the bedroom. The, the, the uh, ball zappers. Mysteriously. <laughs> <laughs> got to make sure you're paying attention. You slip out of the booth and head for the bedroom. After a few seconds of fumbling around, you manage to grab a pair of shock paddles that lie on your bedside table. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so, um, it's time to get energized. Uh, I charge the paddles and shock myself in the biceps. <laughs> you press the button, and the electrical current arcs through the air. The current hits you square in the chest, and you fly backwards onto the bed. You awake with a start, and fumble to reach for your belt. Annie. <laughs> <clears throat> But you forgot. I forgot. Uh, you've forgotten to mo- remove the sock puppet, so it's hopeless. Oh, okay. I can't. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. There we go. You awake with. You forgot to remove the sock puppet, so it's hopeless. The woman laughs and says, My, my! (laughs) That was a close one. You almost blew the entire recording. You glance at the clock and see that it's only 9.30. (laughs) Joe. Hmm, it's only 9.30. I say, Well, my, look at the time. 9.30 p.m. Seems like it's time to go. (laughs) Here goes. I wonder if she'll buy it. Is she so gullible? Annie smiles and says, Great idea! I'll just get my things! You stand up and hold out a hand. Annie grabs it and pulls you up. Justin. Hmm. I guess the story, I realize in that moment that Annie has been taking steroids. 
<laughs> the super strength. Strength. S T R E M F. Strength. <laughs> All right, here goes. Annie, what do you do with your steroids? Your grip is much stronger than it should be. You lead her to the door and say, See you tomorrow. Annie says, Ray? Um, I'm going to need my sock puppet back and a pack of cigarettes for later. <laughs> yeah, it's the steroids that, that make you want to smoke cigarettes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need my sock puppet back. <laughs> <laughs> A pack of smokes for later. There you go. Pack of cigs. That's the that's the way to say it. You nod at that. Annie looks around your apartment and says, I think this is the one. I know it's the only one. <laughs> you think to yourself that you need to get Annie a room. <laughs> <laughs> well done, AI Dungeon. Well done. Well done. Well done, AI. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay, so mm -hmm. what, I think, uh, what do you guys, one more round? One more round of turns? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Sure. All right. All right, this is it. You think, okay. <clears throat> I go to my knees and start chanting in order to summon a new room. Hmm. Hmm. Good answer. Good answer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's good with the specificity there. Yep. You start chanting, Annie, come forth and open a portal to the room of the dead. After a few seconds, you hear a voice from the depths of your mind. I am here. Annie. Um, <clears throat> you recognize the voice as your Uncle Carl who always gave you wet willies. Carl, not Kyle. It doesn't matter. It can be <laughs> Kyle. It changes everything, Annie. There we go. Russian Carl. <laughs> and then there's, there's a you instead of a you're there. Poor uncle. Don't want to break the. Don't want to break the machine. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot compute. I can't let you do that. I can't help you if you don't tell me what the hell you're doing. I've been trying to crack your little egg for days now. Annie <laughs> says, "I'm here, Uncle." <laughs> I thought it was my uncle. I thought it was our I thought, collective. I thought it was our siblings. Uncle? We must be. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're just moving into our apartment. Um, <clears throat> I go to the kitchen and retrieve the carton of eggs for the voice in my head. <laughs> it's the only rational yeah. thing to be done. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Of course. I, I, yeah. Your hands were tied I'm trying there. to crack your little egg. I mean, like, yeah. I've been freed of the sock puppet. Right, right. You've got free hands. Mm -hmm. You head to the kitchen and grab an egg white only carton of eggs. You don't think you need to tell Annie that they are raw. Annie starts chanting again and you join in. Uh oh. What mm -hmm. is going to birth from these eggs now? These only egg whites. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> Eggy. I think, I think, I think it's going to be peeps. Oh, peeps say. are going to be born from these eggs. Okay, no, go. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought that there was. Uh, well, there's there's some chanting that has to happen. Yeah. Chan happen first. Um. Eggy. 
eggy, I say. The I beggy. <laughs> Not done? Not done. Summon thou my uncle's leggy. Here goes. Come on, Uncle. What you got? What you got to say? <laughs> Give us that leg. Eggy, eggy, the you beggy. Summon thou your uncle's leggy. The eggs turn into slimy yellow ooze. I thought they were whites. And you have to rush Annie so she doesn't get sick. Come on, we've got to go. You say. Annie says. That's why I told you to buy just eggs. They're just made from plants, and they taste great. <laughs> Might have to repeat that. <laughs> That's why I told you to buy just eggs. They're made from plants and they taste great and are good for the environment. <laughs> Is it called It's Just Eggs? Just Eggs. You've never seen those commercials? No, I have. Yeah, It's Just Eggs. It's right? Just Eggs. Yeah. Good. Sounds like Annie. She's very... Environmentally conscientious. conscientious. Yeah. Yeah. Annie says, that's why I told you to buy. It's just eggs. They're good for the environment. You lead Annie into the living room and, sh and see the portal in the very same place you saw it yesterday. Annie walks towards the portal, but you stop her. It's a very... I, I, I think that's a very, uh, you know, artsy ending. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right, yes. Open... To interpretation. <laughs> you think she's going to go through. And then no. cut t cut to black. Credits. Yep. 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 Perfect. Yep. Dude, this is a storytelling miracle. This, this really program. It's, it's actually, I, I think it, it's improved since last time we used it. Quite a bit. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. It's, I feel it's good about it. So Carrying the flow. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody here. Everybody who's here in the show, performing. Everyone who wrote something for the show, Raymond for being here, talking about Lit RPG with us. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the audience, thank you so much for hanging out with us and having a goofy, retarded time with us. You know, oh, yeah. um, that's that's what I love. That's what I love about uh, about this company, about this whole life, being able to just dick around with all y'all. Mm -hmm. So, until next time. That this has been Sound Booth Theater Live. I'm Jeff Hayes, signing off. God, we have such a huge audience. Who is there? Just one guy with the horn. So Just that much. one guy. Just the one guy. <laughs> <laughs>